Today we are going to discuss the synthesis of triphenylmethane dyes such as malachite green and pararazanilin and their applications. Triphenylmethane dyes are a class of synthetic dyes that contain a triphenylmethane structural motif. If we look at the name triphenylmethane, we can predict the chemical structure, which consists of a central carbon atom bonded to three phenyl groups and various substituents. Malachite green and pararosalin are examples of triphenylmethane dyes. Let's look at the synthesis of malachite green. It is synthesized by the reaction of benzaldehyde and NN dimethylaniline. The first step is the condensation of benzaldehyde with dimethylaniline in the presence of sulfuric acid to get the leucobase by the elimination of water molecules. The leucobase is oxidized with lead dioxide, giving a color base. This color base reacts with hydrochloric acid to get malachite green. This hydrogen atom here and the hydroxyl group form a water molecule. Thus shifting of electrons and the formation of a double bond occurs. The nitrogen atom here acquires a positive charge and the chlorine atom will attach to it. It is used as a dye to color materials like silk, leather, and paper. It is used as an antiseptic for bacterial infections. It is a pH indicator between pH 0.2 to 1. Now let's look at the synthesis of pararosanilin. On oxidation aniline and paratoluidine gives a leucobase by the elimination of water molecule. The leucobase is then oxidized and treated with hydrochloric acid giving pararosalin. This step is similar to the synthesis of malachite green. Pararosanilin is used to dye polyacrylonitrile fibers. It is used to detect sulfur dioxide. Pararosaniline is used as a colorimetric test for aldehydes in the shift test.